Masks in Premiere Pro let you target specific parts of your video and apply effects to them without applying that effect to the entire clip. Masks can be really intimidating at first, but once you understand how they work, they become really easy to use and you're gonna be using them in every single one of your edits. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what masks are, how to control them, how to animate them, and give you a few examples of how to use them. So let's start with what are masks in Premiere Pro. Masking is the process of selecting a specific part of the video clip to apply an effect or adjustment only to that area. You can draw masks in three different ways. Using the Eclipse tool for circular or oval masks, the Rectangle tool for box style masks, or use the Pen tool for custom freeform shapes. After you draw your mask, you'll have four controls. The Mask Path, which controls the position and shape of the mask over time. This is what you use to animate the mask. The Mask Feather, often used to soften the edges of the mask for smoother blending. The Mask Opacity, adjusts how visible the mask area is. And the Mask Expansion, it expands or contrasts the size of the mask without changing the shape. Now let's learn how to draw a mask on your video. Go up to the Effect Panel, find the Opacity property, and then select what type of mask you want to use. For this example, I'm going to use the rectangle tool. Now, as soon as you click it, you'll notice that a mask has already been applied to your video. You can adjust the points manually by clicking each of the points and dragging it to your desired position. If you bring your cursor to the edge of your mask and hold shift, you can scale your mask up evenly while maintaining its shape. All this mask is doing is removing everything in this video clip except for what's inside the mask. This is great for moments when you're trying to key out a green screen like this, but your green screen doesn't cover your entire frame. If you wanted the opposite effect, go up to your effect panel and select this inverse checkbox, and then your mask is gonna select everything outside of the mask instead of everything inside of it. I like to use this type of mask on graphics or text when I don't wanna show a certain part of the image. So what else can you do with masks? Well, you can use masks to apply an effect to a certain area of your video with pretty much any effect you can think of. Let's use Gaussian blur as an example. Here I have a clip, but I wanna blur out the photo in the background. So what I need to do is go over to my effect panel, type in Gaussian blur, and drag that onto my timeline. Now go up to your effect controls, go to Gaussian blur, and increase the value to your desired blurriness. Now if you notice the blur is on our entire video, what we need to do to apply a mask to it is go back up to our effect controls, go back to your blur property, and then select one of these tools. For this example, I'm gonna use the circle tool. Then position this over the area you want blurred and scale it up the exact same way we scaled up the last one. Then go up to your control panel, go back to the blur property, then adjust the feather so there's no harsh lines around your mask. Another use for masks is to animate a reveal for text or graphics. Go to your type tool, type out some text, and then select your text layer, and then go up to your effect controls. Then under opacity, just like we did before, we're gonna select one of these tools to apply our mask. Since this is the last example, I'm gonna use the pen tool for this example. Now I'm gonna draw around my text till it creates a mask. I'm gonna position the mask so the text is no longer visible. Then go back up to effect controls and at the beginning of my text layer, under mask path, I'm gonna apply a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch. Then I'm gonna go forward in time to where I want my text to be revealed. Then I'm gonna click on the mask's name. This will now highlight the mask and allow me to move it. And then I will move this off of my text so it's visible again. Then when you play it back, you should have a very simple text reveal using masks. And that's a basic introduction on how to use masks in Premiere Pro. It took me a while to get comfortable using masks, but just keep practicing. And once you understand how they work, you'll be using them in every single video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.